Hey everybody, Stretch here. I'm going to show you how to beat the incredibly difficult Mission 24 of the DCS P51 Challenge campaign. I've been trying to beat this for months now. I finally found a plan that worked. Took a little bit of luck, but mostly a lot of just figuring out the correct order to do things. Now, there are some exploits that I'm taking advantage of. I don't know if they're really exploits, more just like bugs, but on... The flip side, I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with this mission, too. Like, for instance, my wingman is worthless and gets himself shot down basically every single time. So I'm going to call it, uh, you know, a draw. However, if you're frustrated by this and you think that I should have done it maybe with absolutely no mission exploits, no exploiting the triggers, go ahead and make your own video and give it to me in the comments. I would love to see it. So this is my solution to how to beat mission 24, putting it all together, part one. All right, first things first, we're gonna put our wingman in trail, just a minimal chance of him getting shot down. Now we're going to activate the bombs in train mode, activate uh, the rockets, and put the sight in fixed mode. That gets us ready. First thing we're gonna do is drop the bombs and want them in train mode. Now, you need to go low level here, very low level, so the AAA doesn't see you. Treetop level. Take this turn nice and wide so that the trees don't block your shot of the first AAA. We're going to make one pass and kill three AAA in this one pass without popping up. Don't pop up. If they see you, they're going to shoot you. So, first AAA is ahead. Stay low level. Line it up. A couple shots. Kill the first AAA. Come back up, but again, don't pop. Stay low and you want to come around for the second shot. You want to be oblique here too, again, so the trees don't block your shot. Nice, easy turn. Also, we got bombs on our way, so we don't want to move too much. All right, by now the truck's going to see us, so let's come to the right and get those trees blocking the truck from shooting us. So I'm checking six, the truck is already shooting at us. Let's get to the right here and block him from shooting at us. All right, our third and final target on this pass is going to be uh, at the second convoy. Now, we want to hit the second convoy first because when we drop the bombs on the bridge, that second convoy is going to activate. We have an opportunity now to kill it before it activates. So, uh, we're going to kill the two AAA on the second convoy, making it defenseless. There's the first one. It's just another truck. Let's hit it. Nope, we missed it. Okay. Normally, you'd be able to get it with just one shot, but it looks like my shot was very unlucky, so we're just going to climb, come around, and we're going to hit it again. I'm going to tell my wingman to engage other targets, but he's just getting himself shot down. So the plan here is we're going to drop the bridge first and foremost because we've got to get those bombs off our wings or else they're not going to be maneuverable. But before we drop the bridge, we want to take advantage of our opportunity to kill a few AAA. Now this one at the front here is armored, so lay down on the trigger. It's going to take a couple shots to get it killed. So I got the one on the front done. I'm just going to kill the one on the back and then we're going to drop the bridge. Once we drop the bridge and the bombs are off our wings, we're going to be much more maneuverable and we're going to take care of the remaining convoys. All right, power's high these times. Engine is hot, but that's okay. We're about to cool it down. Power back. Let's cool the engine. And let's get that first uh, AAA, or that AAA at the back. There we go. It's done. All right, now it's time to drop the bridge. Power back on. With the bombs, you're going to need a lot of power. You notice I'm switching uh, between about 50, 45, 50 inches of manifold pressure just to climb this thing with the bombs on. Uh, that's going to overheat your engine really soon, so you want to bring the power back on the uh, on the uh, descending parts of these runs so that you keep your engine cool. You give your engine a couple chances to cool down. Uh, we're going to make a turn to the left here so that we can get a little more altitude before we line up with the bridge. You notice that we've got high alpha. We're kind of on the edge of the flight envelope. We need to keep the power and keep heating up that engine uh, so that um, so that uh, we don't stall and crash into the ground. It takes a lot of power to fly this thing uh, and maneuver it around with bombs on its wings. Okay, we're going to straighten out, bringing the power back a little bit, giving the engine a couple seconds to cool down a bit before we put the power back in. Okay, we're going to come around to the right. This is the time where we're going to make the pass with the bombs. The way the bridge works, there's actually just two infantry on either side of the bridge. If your bombs kill the two infantry, a trigger just explodes the bridge. So you don't have to get your bombs right on the bridge. You just have to kill the two infantry with frag damage. They'll shoot at you, but they have them. Um, they just have rifles, so it's not really as much a threat as like the Zeus's, the AAA. All right, power back in. We got to climb. If we're too low. Our bombs are going to frag us. It happened to me a lot, so we want to make sure we're nice and high when we roll in on this bridge. So we have plenty of altitude on the rollout. 
engine's getting hot again that's fine we're going to cool it down right now okay rolling in on the bridge my rule of thumb here is right about after it uh disappears under the nose first bomb away a couple seconds second bomb away bring the nose up so we don't frag ourselves the bombs kind of miss down. but the bridge is go down because it killed the infantry in. all right now it's time to go back and destroy the first convoy. Now we said in the mission that we have to try to destroy the convoy before it starts moving. That's impossible, folks. It starts moving the moment the mission starts. You're not going to destroy it before it starts moving. Uh, and in fact, there's no trigger that you have to destroy it by. So you can take all your time, uh, all the time you want destroying it, as long as you have enough fuel. So again, we're going to do nice gentle turns here, get some altitude and climb, because we've got to get over this ridge so that we can terrain mask our way back to the other side. Do some time acceleration here, move through this. Gentle turns, keeping the power in. We're giving our engine a chance to cool down. Uh, just keeping it at cruise power, 35 inches. Uh, and we terrain mask our way back to the other side of town, to the south side of town. My wingman actually managed to hit something, which is impressive. Okay, just past this uh, ridge here uh, is where we started, basically where the mission started, back down to treetop level. And we're going to roll in on the convoy, which is now on the south side of town. It's already moved through town. It's on the south side. Now, that convoy has one AAA. It's the rearmost unit uh, in the convoy. That's what we have to hit first. So our priority as we roll around the ridge here. Oh, you just noticed I turned on rockets because we're shooting rockets now. Our priority is first to sight the convoy and then to hit the rearmost vehicle before he sees us. Again, rolling in a treetop level, they're not going to be able to shoot us right away. So I'm looking for the convoy. And there it is. It's between the trees. It's not a good shot. It's not a good shot. So I come off and I come around. So he sees us now. So for sure he's going to start shooting us. So we got to stay maneuverable. In a perfect world, I would have just rolled in on him. Well, uh, it would have been a better shot while he was on this straightaway. And I would have been able to just take him out before he even got a single shot off. We didn't get that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to time accelerate uh, in just a bit here. And we're going to go back around the ridge. We're going to do it again. They're like babies. You know, they, they forget you exist if you disappear behind a ridge. Uh, they don't keep their sights lined up. So if we just move ourselves back out behind the ridge here, come around again. Again, modulating power here. We're cycling between high power, high heat situations back to low power situations where the engine can cool. Come back around the ridge again. As long as I'm at treetop level, He's not going to see me. He's not going to be able to line up his sights. Now, there's the convoy. Much better shot now. They're on that straightaway. They're not blocked by any trees. My priority is to hit the rearmost vehicle. I just lay in on the trigger, get as much as I can. Looking back, it looks like I hit three of them. All right. So with three down, I think that might be the whole convoy. I'm not sure. Well, no, because uh, Matt Wagner is going to start talking to us in a bit. Uh, once they all blow up, and then he's going to tell us to go after the last convoy. There's one. Yep, that's all of them. Okay. So at this point, unfortunately, my uh, track file kind of bugs out um, and has the airplane crashing, even though I didn't crash. So I'm going to move to the Acme now. Um, so as you can see, for the last step, we're going to terrain mask our way back. Um, past the two Zeus's that are still in town to the remainder of the convoy. Uh, as you recall, we destroyed the first and last vehicles of the convoy. Those were AAA. Uh, so the convoy is now defenseless, and all we have to do is destroy it. So there are two Zeus's still in town. One of them's almost entirely masked by trees, so it's never going to shoot at you. The other one's going to take shots off occasionally, but as long as you stay nimble um, and use uh, terrain masking as much as possible, it shouldn't hit you. So I'm going to roll in on the first uh, for the first time on the convoys now. Ideally, you'd be able to get off all three at once, but maybe not. All right, first roll in. Um, ideally aiming for the first vehicle, the head of the line, to stop the whole line. As you can see, I hit, uh, I destroyed the middle vehicle and I was able to hit one. Uh, meanwhile, my wingman's soaking up bullets for me. 
Again, you can't see in the replay, but we're modulating power uh, coming out on the power on the downhill and bringing the power back in on the uphill to keep the engine cool. The Zeus is firing at me now, uh, staying nimble and trying to stay low to use terrain as much as possible. You can't see it in the replay, but there's a line of trees here. So uh, the Zeus isn't going to be able to fire at you from this quadrant here, the, uh, the eastern quadrant. Okay, rolling back in for the second time now. Two more vehicles remaining. Took a couple of shots to get that one. Rolling off. Power back in. And final roll in now, we're going to kill the last vehicle. Now, when you kill the vehicle, two helicopters activate. That's the last part of the mission. Whoops. All right, last vehicle. And there it is. I'm going to pause now, and I'm going to zoom out. And so what happens is maybe we can't see it in the replay. But what happens is those two helicopters that supposedly activate, uh, they get themselves killed right away. Uh, I think it's probably a bug in the mission or something. Yeah, here they are. They get themselves killed right away. So, yep, they take off and immediately die. So, uh, killing, yep, there they go, and dead. So, killing those two convoys is pretty much all you need to do in that case then. Um, and uh, just drop the bridge, kill the two convoys, and you're done. And that, my friends, is how you beat the second to last mission. Again, some exploits um, by exploiting the triggers uh, of the mission. But then again, of course, there are some bugs in the mission as well to help you out. If anybody has a solution that doesn't involve these exploits, please, by all means, show it to me. Otherwise, this, my friends, is how I was able to get it done. It was challenging, and it took a long time, but it was very rewarding. One more mission to go. Thanks. This is Stretch signing out.